Is it, what was the question? I forgot. <laughs> is it difficult being in a relationship and, and being a star like you are, being in a steady relationship, I mean? Um, a little bit, a little bit, because my girl is constantly accusing me of cheating on him and giving me attitude about shit, you know, she's just, I think she's a little bit insecure, you know, thinking that I'm out here just doing shit, you know, behind her back or whatever, you know. So it's a little bit difficult, but we make it work. She's probably not wrong about what she thinks. <laughs> oh, what? Wow, did you hear that? Bad connection. <laughs> Static. <laughs> Gotta go. Pick another one. What is the mo What are the three most important things in life? Drugs. Kim more drugs. Drugs and Kim Jaime. Sorry. Kim Jaime. What, what's that? Kim Jaime. It's this new drink I invented. You 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 take. It's like absinthe. You take. Absinthe? Absinthe. Absinthe. You take one drink of it and you die. Those are the three most important things in my life. Sounds kind of bleak. Nah. Um, I could tell you the one most important thing in my life would be my daughter, obviously. So, And <clears throat> probably the next would be my, my career, you know. And then uh, I can't count past two, so I don't know what three is. Girlfriend, maybe? Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Give me brownie points. Give me some brownie points. Right. Pick another one, please. Is this the last interview? No, you're going for another three hours. Wow, great. What was the first record you bought? Um, I think it was the Fat Boys. Fat Boys' first album. Like the first rap song I ever heard was Ice T Reckless, but I didn't buy it. My cousin had it. My uncle had it, I mean. So, um yeah, I think it was the Fat Boy's first album. Mm -hmm. What what was it that, that struck you in, in uh, about rap music? I don't know, like when I was in the fifth fifth or sixth grade, um everybody in my school was into break dancing and, and you know, hip hop started to come in and you know, movies started coming out like breaking the sound, the the movie and the soundtrack and just hip hop just started fascinating me. I think it was more of a fascination when I was younger. I was just fascinated with it, but then as I started growing up, I started living it, you know. So then it started just becoming part of life. It was a way for me to get away from my troubles at home and shit like that, you know. And the fact that my dad was gay, you know. First joke I liked. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here you go. Pick another Tough one. Audience, <laughs> 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 okay. When was the last time you cried? About what? The other night when Mark took my value. <laughs> <laughs> so it was the wrong one. I said it was gonna fuck it. <laughs> that shit hit me like a ton of bricks. Are you are you like the, the a real man who, who doesn't cry? Huh? Are you a real man who doesn't cry? <coughs> no, I cried at the uh, what what the fuck movie was it? What movie we go see? Big Daddy. You did? Nah, I almost did. Shit. Really? Yeah, it was a sad movie. What what was sad about it? Oh, it was just about, it was supposed to be a comedy and shit, but it was just about um, a little kid, a little boy that that uh, got adopted or some shit and then got taken away by his father or something. So that's that's one of the main things that, like, is when it's, like, becomes all jokes aside for me. It's, like, when it comes to kids, I got a soft spot because I got a little girl. So, you know, when it comes to little, when it comes to children, you know, that's, like, my soft spot. How old is your girl? My little girl? Yeah. Three. Do you see her a lot? I see her as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, I don't get the time to... I just been so busy lately that I don't get to see her much. You know? But when I do see her, it's, it's you know, quality time. 